Genetics, what can it mean? The ability to perfect the physical and mental characteristics of every unborn child. It's the stuff of science fiction. What if you could give your child increased intelligence, athletic ability, musical talent, work ethic, and remove any undesirable traits that might otherwise hinder their development and success? Or maybe you're the superficial type that doesn't really care how talented or capable your kid is, as long as they have the right color hair, the right eyes, the right skin. What about the use of CRISPR? Sure, well, CRISPR is a very, very important part of this. So. Science maniacs, man, do we have a story for you today? A story that you will need some popcorn for and some hot sauce if that is your cup of tea. African Americans, please don't jump on me. It was a joke. I love hot sauce myself. Now, back to our regularly scheduled program. It's a tale that involves science, ethics, and the power to change life as we know it. So buckle up and let's dive in. Recently, a Chinese biophysicist by the name of He Jian Kui made international headlines when he claimed to have edited the genes of two babies. This act, while fascinating, is also highly controversial. The procedure has been widely condemned by the scientific community, with many experts saying that it is both unnecessary and unethical. But what exactly happened, and why is it so controversial? Here's the backstory. Jiang Qi claimed that he used a technique called CRISPR to edit the genes of two embryos. The goal was to make them resistant to HIV. The resulting babies, twin girls named Lulu and Nana, were reportedly born healthy. However, the scientific community has criticized Jiang Qi for not following proper ethical protocols and for using an experimental technique that has not been proven safe. For the life of me, I'm still trying to figure out why he made them resistant to HIV. Like, how do you know something you created is resistant to HIV without putting testing it against HIV to make sure it is resistant to it? Out of everything to choose, he chose HIV? Like, come on, man. He also said that another pregnancy was underway involving a second, genetically edited embryo. The announcement led to a global outcry, and he was widely criticized for conducting his experiment without proper ethical review and oversight. On 26 January 2022, it was reported that Hong Kong had revoked He Jiang Kui's visa. According to a government spokesperson, the decision was made because he had breached relevant laws and regulations and engaged in unethical conduct. He had been living in Hong Kong since 2019, after he was released from house arrest in China. He had been working at a university in Hong Kong as a visiting scholar, but his position was terminated after his arrest in China. Hong Kong revoked He Jiang Kui's visa. Less than a day after it was revealed, he had been granted one. He Jiang Kui's visa revocation has sparked fresh debate about his actions and their consequences. Some have criticized Hong Kong for granting him a visa in the first place, while others have welcomed the move as a sign of accountability. The visa was granted to He Jiang Kui under the SR's Top Talent Pass scheme, but the Immigration Department has declared it invalid and his application could be subject to criminal proceedings. The decision to revoke his visa was made by Hong Kong officials, and He Jiang Kui may face new problems as a result of this decision. The Hong Kong Special Administrative Region, SARA's Top Talent Pass Scheme, TTS, is a program aimed at attracting top talents from around the world to explore opportunities in Hong Kong. The TTPS was introduced in October 2022, and holders of the pass will receive a two-year visa that allows them to work, establish a business, or change employers in Hong Kong SAR. To be eligible for the TTPS, applicants must demonstrate that they are top talents with rich work experience and good academic qualifications and have an annual income of $2.5 million Hong Kong currency or above 
in the year immediately preceding the date of application. The TTPS is open to all nationals, except those from Afghanistan, Cuba, Laos, Korea, Democratic People's Republic of, Nepal, and Vietnam. The program offers a new path for eligible individuals to live and work in Hong Kong. It seems like Mr. He was seeking a new path that turned into a he he, get it? He he, as in joke. Never mind, I tried. Mr. He didn't receive any awards like the Scarecrow because he wasn't outstanding in his field. I just crack myself up. Not really. Anyways, while the use of CRISPR gene editing technology is a relatively new field, there have been other researchers who have attempted similar experiments. For example, in 2015, a group of Chinese researchers used CRISPR to modify human embryos. Similarly, in 2019, Russian biologist Denis Rebrikov announced that he planned to use CRISPR to create gene-edited babies who would be immune to HIV. Now this raises some thought-provoking questions. Firstly, is it ethical to edit the genes of human beings, especially without their consent? What are the potential consequences of such actions? Secondly, who gets to decide which genes are edited and for what reasons? Is it ethical for scientists to play God, so to speak? Thirdly, what does this mean for the future of science and medicine? Is gene editing the key to solving some of the world's most pressing health problems? Or does it open up a Pandora's box of unintended consequences? Fourthly, how do we balance the benefits of scientific progress with the need for ethical and moral considerations? Is there a way to move forward without causing harm? Lastly, what does this mean for the rest of us? As technology continues to advance at a rapid pace, are we prepared for the potential consequences of our actions? These are difficult questions, but they're important ones. As science continues to push the boundaries of what's possible, we need to ensure that we're doing it in a way that is safe, ethical, and beneficial to all. This is a story that asks us to consider the ethics of science and the potential consequences of our actions. As always, I urge you to continue to explore and learn and to think deeply about the impact that science has on our lives. Thank you for watching, Science Maniatics. If you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, and share. And as always, keep exploring the mysteries of science.